dear students now let us study about melting furnaces melting furnaces used in the foundry industry or many diverse configurations the selection of the melting unit is one of the most important decisions foundries must make several important factors must be considered for proper selection these include the temperature required to melt the metal or alloy the melting rate and quantity of molten metal required the required quantity of the molten metal or the melt and subsequent final product the economy of installation and maintenance the last one environmental and waste disposal requirements now furnaces can be classified according to the type of lining the first type is acidic lined furnaces for example silicon dioxide the second type that is basic lined furnaces for example magnesium oxide magnesium carbonate or calcium oxide the lining materials are characterized by refractoriness that means the inability to withstand against high temperature is called as refractoriness high wear resistance low coefficient of thermal expansion high resistant to thermal shocks heat insulation and passive towards molten metal furnace gases and slag that means it should be chemically inert now crucible furnaces crucible furnaces are one of the oldest and simplest types of melting units used in the foundry the furnace is used a refractory crucible which contains the metal charge the charge is heated via conduction of the heat through the wall of the crucible the heating fuel is typically coke oil gas or electricity crucible melting commonly used where small batches of low melting point alloy are required the capacity outlay of these furnaces make them attractive to small non ferrous foundries the capacity may range from 30 to 150 kg basically a furnace is an equipment used to melt metals for casting or to heat materials to change their shape for example rolling or forging or can change the properties also they are appliances capable of heating materials to such a high temperature that they melt which form a chemical perspective basically means that they reach the critical threshold temperature at which they convert from solid to liquid crucible furnaces or coke fired pit furnace that is the first one you can see in the picture in this the melt melt the metal without direct contact with a burning fuel mixture for this reason 
they are sometimes called indirect fuel fired furnaces crucible furnaces are mostly used for melting non ferrous metals and alloys the metal is melted in a crucible which is a refractory vessel made of silicon carbide or some other refractory materials now coke fired pit furnace it is primarily used for non ferrous metals furnace is of a cylindrical shape it is also known as a pit furnace now the preparation involves make a deep bed of coke in the furnace burn the coke it attains the state of maximum combustion <coughs> insert the crucible in the coke bed remove the crucible when the melt reaches the desired temperature the entire melting operation is carried out below the ground level initially the coke is fired by using kerosene or petrol or waste cloth or wooden pieces this is called as kindling process once the coke is heated to a sufficient temperature it also heats up the crucible placed on it here the heat transfer heat transfer takes place by conduction method the charge inside the crucible starts melting the hot gases will escape to the atmosphere through the vent hole once the desired temperature of the molten metal is attained the lid is opened and crucible is lifted with the help of tongs and now the molten metal is transferred to the ladle or directly poured into the mold cavity now the advantages of coke fired pit furnace the first one low investment and maintenance cost design simplicity crucibles have the unique ability to melt hold and transfer the metal using a single vessel the melt can be directly treated in the crucible allowing incompatible alloy changes alloy changes to be made simply by switching vessels the last advantage is even when fixed within the furnace structure crucibles offer significant advantages when compared to directly heated fuel fired furnaces these important benefits include lower metal loss cleaner metal alloy flexibility quick replacement now the disadvantages of coke fired fit furnace or crucible furnace the first one the efficiency of the process is low that is 7 to 19% efficient second one low melt rate third one high emissions fourth one size limitations and the fifth disadvantage is manual changing causes very high operational costs only completely dry metals must be used for subsequent changing since wet charge material causes ejection of metal resulting in great risk for personnel now the second one is oil fired furnace these are primarily used for non ferrous metals furnace is of a cylindrical type 
oil fired burners are used in many parts of the country as the basic heat source for warm air and hot water heating systems in this type of system oil is sprayed into a combustion chamber at high pressure propelled by blower and ignited by an electric spark the oil continues to burn as the mist is sprayed now in oil fired furnace crucible is kept on the pedestal charged with the ignotes a burner is switched over at the bottom on one side the burner is situated at the bottom on one side walls are provided to control the amount of air and oil supplied to the burner so the flames can be controlled the oil from the burner is ignited and desired flame is controlled by valves after the metal melts and attains the desired superheat the crucible is taken out and molten metal is treated and poured some of the advantages of oil fired furnaces are no wastage of fuels less contamination of the metal absorption of water vapor is least as the metal melts inside the closed metallic furnace now the last one is gas fired pit furnace in this type of furnace fire is created at the bottom using waste coke or wood etc and gas is blown through the burner this will create a flame and heats the inside lining the burner is switched off and the crucible with the ignotes is placed now the burner is switched on flame will sweep across the crucible and flame is used to melting once the metal reaches the desired temperature the burner is switched off and crucible is taken out and the molten metal is treated and poured thank you